Hi, my name's Ted, KE6YJC. Today I'm going to share with you how to set up your DV4 Mini on a Windows system running the latest DV4 MF2 software that does work with the Brandmeister network. Just so you know that most of this information can be found on the internet, but personally I found that there's a vast amount of information on the internet and there's different packages you can run on the DV4 Mini that it can be quite difficult to figure out what you need to get, where you need to get it from, and how to get it all working together and getting on the air. So I figured that this video would help those of you that are just starting out get your DV4 Mini up and running a lot quicker. Please keep in mind that the DV4 Mini software is changing very rapidly. So as this video is being recorded on March 30th, 2016, it could be outdated in a week or two and there may be some different directions that we'll have to use to get the DV4 Mini software installed. So let's get started. Like I said, a lot of the information is available on the internet. I found most of the information that uh, I'm going to show you today off of the g0hwc.com website and I'll include all the web addresses that I reference in the notes below. So there are some prerequisites that you're going to need. One is the DV4 MF2 software works in conjunction with the original DV4 Mini software. So we're going to need to download the DV4 Mini software and you're also going to need the Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 redistrib redistributable package, which I know it's a big word, but you have to have it or the DV4 Mini software will not work. Of course, you're going to need a DV4 Mini. So let's get started downloading all the software. Again, this is the website that I mentioned where you can find a lot of the information uh, on the DV4 Mini. Um, while a lot of the information is here, it's kind of hard to find what information or what software you're going to need to download. Uh, as far as I know, this site has the latest uh, DV4 MF2 software. It's where I usually come to get it. I know there's other websites that are out there, but it works for me, so this is what I'm going to share with you. Um, I was able to glean from this site that all of the links point back to this DV4M ham-dmr.ch. Um, keep in mind that the current version of the DV4 MF2 software does not work with this latest beta. Um, I don't know what the glitch is, but you have to be using the DV4 Mini software prior to January 15th, 2016. Um, so this is the site that I know that has these uh, packages. So here you can see, here's the 2016 January 12th setup file. This is for the DV4 Mini. So if you click on this, we'll go ahead and save it. I'm going to click cancel because I already have it. And you're going to also need this redistributable package from Microsoft. Uh, we'll go ahead and click this and I'll click cancel. Once you've got those two downloaded, the last one that we need to get is the DV4 MF2 software. And that can be click, uh, loaded from here or downloaded from here. Uh, and click on download and you should end up with all three of those packages on your computer. Uh, they should pop in here down to your downloads folder and you got those three. So you do have to load these in order otherwise some of the software complains about the other one not being installed. Um, the first one we want to install is this redistribution package. If you double click on it it's pretty easy just click on the I accept the terms and conditions click on install. If you get any kind of pop-ups about the application is going to change your computer tell it yes. So we got the uh, Microsoft Visual C++ installed. The next one is the actual DV4 Mini software. Just go ahead and click on this. Again, it's going to make changes, I know. You can read all this wonderful mumble jumble and click on next, next. Agree to it. Click next. You'll need to take note of this folder right here. This is the folder that we're going to need to put the DV4 uh, MF2 software into. And I'll show you a quick way to get to that folder if you don't want to write that down. Uh, click Next. Doesn't exist. Do you want to install? Tell it yes. Start the installation. Click Next and click Exit. You'll notice that on your desktop you get the DV4 Mini icon. Uh, and you can go into the DV4 Mini software and you can use the original DV4 Mini to connect to, uh, you know, if you want to connect to DSTAR, DMR Plus, P25, um, 
it just doesn't connect to the Brandmeister network. So I'm going to close out of here because we're not really interested in that one. Uh, the one we are interested in is the DV4 NF2 software. And you notice that there is basically just uh, an executable and a readme file. Uh, we're going to have to copy this executable into the same location where the DV4 mini software is. That's why I was saying earlier you need to document that folder location. An easy way to get to it is if you just right click on your desktop on the DV4 mini icon. The second option here is open file location. This will pop open that C program files DV4 mini uh, folder. All we have to do is take the DV4 MF2 file and just drop it into that folder. You probably get a access denied and you have to click continue to allow you to put the file in there, but go ahead and do that. And now you'll see the DV4 MF2 uh, file in there. Uh, this software requires this DV serial application. That's why you have to put it in the same folder. And the DV serial software is what communicates with the actual DV4 mini. Uh, most of us want to have an icon to this on our desktop for easy access. Just right click on it, go down the, to the send to option and say desktop, create shortcut and it'll put a little shortcut to that uh, for you. So I'm going to go ahead and close all these windows down. And now all that's left to do is to go to the DV4 MF2 icon, double click on it. It should pop up. And you're in the software. As you can see, it's reading my DV4 mini. If it was not, you would get little dots saying it's searching for it. Um, you'll want to set your frequency to whatever you have your handheld set to. And sometimes you'll need to come in here and you'll need to click on this local USB connected option um, for it to be able to find your DV4 mini. Sometimes you will have to put a check mark and use the fix address and you'll need to put 127.0.0.1 sometimes. Uh, so it just kind of really depends on the workstation. Uh, for mine, I've been able just to put a check mark in this local USB connected. It will find my DV4 mini and uh, connect to it. This is kind of what you get here is if it's looking for it. It'll say searching and searching and searching and searching. Um, so really that's the short uh, installation video on how to get the DV4 MF2 software installed. I'll try to make some additional videos to show you some of the advanced features of the DV4 MF2 software and how to get it connected to the Brandmeister network so you can get on the air. Hope this was helpful.